Hello Sleepies here. So today we're going to learn how to cross staff beam notes when you have three or more separate lines. Now I already did a video on how to cross staff beam normally with a normal piano score and just to recap that if you have uh, notes like this right and you want a certain number of notes to appear on one staff or the other like let's say these three you can just hit option on a Mac and the up arrow and it will automatically cross staff beam that for you. And you can actually go in between different instruments. Like here we have another grand staff and you can go down and we'll go to that grand staff. And so you could just cross staff beam with these like this by beaming them all together like that. And that gets you on three lines. But then how do you do on four lines? So let's just delete this. And we're going to create a new thing like that. And then we're actually going to use a completely different tool. We're not going to highlight anything and move it up or down like that. Not at all. Instead, we're going to use the note mover tool. That's this one right over here. You can also find it with tools and then note mover. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to basically take a note and just drag it somewhere else. Like we could drag it down here and there it is. And if we could also just take a note over here and drag it to this measure and there it is. And that can be useful, but that isn't cross staff beaming. So instead we're going to come back up here to the note mover tool and hit cross staff. And then we select a note and we can drag it down and it will automatically cross staff beam. And then we could Take a note over here and drag it up and it'll cross staff beam. Drag a note and take it all the way down and it will cross staff beam across all four staves. And you can do this among any number of staves you want. And so we could just keep going. I don't know, this one, let's go there, that one there. And yeah, that one stays the same, right? And it can go back up here and then beam all those together. And then we still have these default whole rests. So we're gonna come over here, gonna create a new rest and then hide it. That way it won't appear at all in the final printed product. So that's it. That's how you cross staff beam on four more staves. If you found this video useful, make sure to hit the like button. That way I know you want more content just like this. And each week I post new content about how to use Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button that we can stay up to date.